imagine stepping into a bustling supermarket in the heart of the UAE, surrounded by a vibrant array of fresh produce that seems to beckon with promise. Now, as your eyes wander over the colorful displays of fruits and vegetables, they alight upon a humble basket of tomatoes. Their ripe redness, an absolute testament to the abundance of nature. Yet what strikes you the most isn't just the freshness of the tomatoes, it's the remarkably low prices of them compared to those in other countries. Now, it wasn't until a couple weeks later I stumbled upon a community garden tucked away in a forgotten corner of the urban landscape where everything changed. As I dug my hands into the soil, planting seeds and nourishing seedlings, I found a profound connection to the earth and an appreciation for the power of urban agriculture. Now this transformative experience ignited a passion within me to advocate for sustainable food systems and inspired me to share this journey with others. Now the simple price of the tomato becomes a spark that ignites a journey of discovery and curiosity into the world of circular economies and urban agriculture. Join me as we delve into how urban farming is revolutionizing our urban landscapes and fostering a sustainable future for us all. Urban agriculture isn't merely a concept, it's a movement, a revolution that challenges the status quo and redefines our relationship with the land. It encompasses a diverse array of practices, from rooftop gardens to vertical farms, community elements, and hydroponic systems. But at its core, urban agriculture is more than just about growing food. It's about reimagining our cities as self-sustainable and vibrant ecosystems that nourish both body and soul. Urban agriculture has emerged from the shadows of the past, blossoming into a cornerstone of agricultural development. Cities worldwide are pioneering the green revolution, from Tokyo's rooftop gardens to Detroit's community farms. But these aren't just mere patches of greenery. They're classrooms, teaching our next generation the importance of sustainability. I'd like to introduce Detroit Copenhagen's Green School Initiative. They teach students the importance of urban agriculture. And all teaching is done free of charge. Students don't just learn about food, they grow it, understanding the cycle of life firsthand. But beyond the schoolyard, cities and countries are leading the way with urban agriculture. It's seen to be a driver of economic development, creating jobs, supporting our local businesses and enhancing livability in our cities. Take Argentina, for example. They teach students the importance of sustainability. And because of their extensive use of vertical farming and improvements of urban agricultural innovation, they're experiencing improvements in their economic growth. But our journey doesn't end here. We must also consider the broader implications of our food systems and how they're impacting our planet, which leads me on to the concept of circular economies. 
where resources are used efficiently and waste is minimized. Circular economies are a new way of thinking about how we use resources. They're essential for cutting down transportation costs and sourcing food locally. By sourcing food locally, we can minimize carbon emissions and bring food closer to where we live. But now that you're more familiar with the phenomenon of circular economies, I'd like to shed light on Dell's closed loop recycling initiative, a beacon of sustainability in the technology sector. At Dell, their initiative begins with a crucial step, collection. Dell partners with organizations worldwide to collect old electronics like laptops and phones so that they don't end up in landfills. Step two, sorting. Dell, once collected, they sort these materials and plastics from others. Step three, processing. Dell then uses advanced technology to process and clean these materials, making new high quality ones. Step four, integration. Once Dell has made these high quality materials, they use it to create new products which are sent to you guys. And finally, step five, closing the loop. Since Dell is now using these new high quality materials, it reduces the need for them to extract them from elsewhere, making the process more sustainable. In essence, Dell's closed loop recycling initiative is considered to be a win-win. They inspire firms and governments all around the world to lead to greater circular economies while reducing waste. Now, as we reflect on our journey from the supermarket in the UAE to the forefront of urban agriculture and circular economies, I'm filled with a sense of wonder and possibility into how urban farming is revolutionizing our economies. And I'm filled, and one thing is clear, the power to affect change lies within each of us. I urge each of you to take action, embrace sustainability in your daily lives, and support local businesses that support healthy food systems. Whether it's supporting our urban agriculture economies or starting a community garden, each step, no matter how big or small, plays a part to the greater cause. So let us cultivate change, step by step, or tomato by tomato, and urge in a new era where sustainability and abundance go hand in hand for all.